What's going on YouTube? Today's video is going to be on banking. The way I was taught to do banking was by the number system. The way they explained it to me is if I was going to bank this nine ball into the side pocket, these would be my corresponding numbers. Such as this diamond is represented as the four. This diamond will be represented as the eight. This diamond we represent as the 12. And then this diamond on the corner is gonna be 16. The opposite side where the object ball is hitting the rail, this would be the 10, this would be the 20, this would be the 30, and then this would be the 40. So as you can see, this nine ball is lined up. I made it lined up exactly to this diamond on the four, and the corresponding four on this rail. So the way I would do it is make sure this nine ball hits directly at the four. So what I'm gonna do is place a chalk to, to make sure you know where, what I'm talking about, where the four would be. So this is the zero, this is the 10, this would be the five. So this would be the four. So I would aim at this diamond to make this nine ball go into that corner pocket. The best thing about this system, you are aiming at something and the best, and also you can actually play position for this. My objective is, is to make this nine ball into the side pocket. I'm gonna re-verify that this nine ball is actually in line with the four diamond. So this is the number four on the opposite side, opposite side of the rail where I'm at. The, this diamond is on the four and it does hit it. For this example, I've got the nine ball located exactly where it goes through to the eight. So like I said earlier, this is the, the, the pocket I'm trying to bank into. So this would be zero. The first diamond is gonna be always the four. Then this is the eight. 12 and 16. So if I do my lineup, because this is 10, so eight has to be here, right? Therefore, if this is eight and it lines up to my eight, as you can see, this nine ball will bank to the side pocket. I will go ahead and mark, mark it with the chalk so we can see as I bank it to this reference point. So this is how it will look like this nine ball is lined up on the eight itself, on the banking rail, and it goes on the eight where I'm at. So this will bank to this side pocket. I set up another shot with the nine ball going to go to the side pocket for a bank. So this one is corresponding to the 12 now. As you can see, this is the 12, and this is the 10, this would be 11, this is 12. I got it lined up exactly where 12 goes on this diamond, and if I, bank, if I hit this nine ball exactly on this diamond, this nine ball will bank to the side pocket. I will go ahead and mark that with the chalk so y'all can see what I'm talking about for a reference point. I will go ahead and reference it, make sure this is on the 12. As you can see, that's on the 12th diamond, and this is on the 12th diamond on the opposite side. So I should be able to make this nine ball if I hit this 12th diamond into the side pocket. I set up the nine ball again, but this time it's crossing the path of the 16. So if you have this, this would be the 15. This right here, this pocket, this diamond is the 16. So if this is 15, this would be 16. As you can see, this lines up to the 16. I will go ahead and mark that so we can have a reference point when I bank it. So I'll verify that this this chalk is on the 16 
and I'm my nine ball is exactly on the 16 line and if I hit this nine ball right on the 16 I should be able to make it to the side pocket Now I'm going to be banking the nine ball to this corner pocket. So if this is going to be the corner pocket, this would be zero. And all I did was shift my numbers to the left. So this would be, this diamond would be the four, this diamond would be the eight, this is the 12, this is 16, and then this is 20. So where it gets a little bit tricky, this number, this diamond is going to be 25. Then you have 30, then you have 35, and you have 40. On the other side, where you're gonna be banking the nine ball into the corner pocket, where the nine ball will hit the rail, this diamond is 10. This diamond is 20. This diamond is 30. And this diamond is 40. So wherever the ball hits, it's gonna be increments of 10. I have the nine ball lined up exactly where it hits the 20. As you can see, this is the 20 on the opposite side of the rail where I'm standing. This is where the nine ball is gonna impact. And on my side, this hits exactly on the 20. If I hit this nine ball right through this diamond, I should make it into the corner pocket. So I'm gonna verify that this, this diamond on the 20 lines up with my nine ball on the 20 itself. So as you can see, if I hit this nine ball right on that diamond, I should be able to make it to this corner pocket. I set up the nine ball again, but the nine ball is passing through the 25. As you can see, this is the 25 and it lines up exactly in the 25. Remember, after 16, this becomes 20. This becomes 25, 30, and 35. I'll make sure that this is my 25 and it passes through. If I hit this nine ball on the 25 on the diamond, I should make it into the corner pocket. Now let's do some banks on the short rail by the numbers. As you can see, I have the eight ball set up and I'm gonna head, go ahead and try to bank it to this corner pocket. And the way this system works is, this is starting with zero. This is the one, this is the two, this is the three, and this is the four. If I'm trying to make the eight ball in that corner pocket, the corresponding numbers on the opposite side of the diamond where the eight ball is gonna hit the rail, it's gonna start off with two, this is gonna be four, this is gonna be six, and this is gonna be eight. So you will line up your shot where the object ball is to see where it corresponds to that pocket. As you can see here, this eight ball, if I line this up to this pocket, this is referencing number four, this lines up perfectly to the fourth diamond. I set up the cue ball. I'm gonna go ahead and try to make the eight into this corner pocket. And I'm gonna verify that this eight is lined up with that four and this four. Now I set up the nine ball, as you can see, this one is aiming at the three. So this is zero, this is one, this is two, this is three. The opposite side is two, four, six, and eight. So you can see this one is on the third diamond. So this is two, and this is three. Now I'm gonna verify that this nine ball is passing through the three on this side of my, my rail and where it's gonna bank is hitting also on the three to make sure, and that hits straight. If I hit exactly on that three diamond, I should make it into this corner pocket.
Now I've set up the 10 ball. I lined it up to the two, as you can see, like I said before, this is your one, this is your two, this is your three, this is your four. The opposite side is always gonna start with the two on that diamond, then you got your four, and you got your six. So this 10 should line up exactly on my two. So if I hit this 10 right on the two diamond, I should make it in this corner pocket. I'm gonna go ahead and verify that that 10 ball is lined up with a two going into this corner pocket. So it's one and two, line it up to the two, and that goes exactly to the corner pocket. I just covered the basics of banking by the numbers. Please leave a comment if I need to do a detailed video. I hope this video was informative. Stay tuned, my next video is gonna be on five shots you need to know for position play. Thank you for watching, see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me, don't forget to thumbs up. Bye bye.